guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make a digital planner. I'll be going over some of the basics on how you can make certain pages and how you can add hyperlinks, but this has been a highly requested video, so I really hope you guys like it. In the past, I have made several templates that include monthly layouts, weekly layouts, and even daily layouts, and all it takes is learning a few basics on Keynote. I'm sure that there are other ways you can make digital templates, but I personally use the Keynote app. So we are gonna start by opening the Keynote app and pressing the plus button on the top right. Then I'm gonna click on choose a theme and I'm gonna choose a basic white theme, but you can do really any of these themes. Once your presentation opens, we are gonna add a new slide and I usually do a blank one so I don't have to delete everything by hand. And then just delete the first slide that we already had. So we are gonna start by changing the size of our slides. So just click the circle that's on the top right and then click on document setup. For this example, I'm just gonna do four to three. Now we want to change the color. So click on the paintbrush that's on the top right and then click background and we are going to choose a color from here. I'm going to do um, a blue color, but you can do any color that you want. Now the first page we are going to make is a hyperlink page. So I'm going to type out links and you can edit your text however you want. So I'm making mine bigger, um, bold, and then after that I'm going to add some white circles on my page and I'm going to do 12 circles for the 12 months. And a really useful tip if you are um, using a lot of the same elements is to hold down one of the elements first and then click on any other element and you once you let go just hit copy and then if you hit paste you're going to paste a group of elements. So now I'm gonna add numbers to every circle on the page. Every number will obviously represent a month of the year. Now we are going to add a new page and I'm going to title it Memories. I'm going to add a square. And a really cool thing you can do is add a border and then click on style and you'll have a lot of options to choose from. And I'm going to end up choosing the scrapbook style. And so now I'm just adding numbers to every square and this is so I know what month each square represents. If you're doing a 12 month planner, then you'll want to go ahead and repeat this. And now we are going to start with our monthly pages, so go ahead and add a new slide. The first thing you want to do is add a table. And then just make sure you have seven across and five down. And now you're going to stretch it out and kind of see that it looks like a calendar. Now I'm just changing the color of the lines. And you're gonna do this by clicking on the paintbrush and then click on cell border. And I'm gonna do white just so it's easy to see against the blue. 
Okay, the next thing I'm doing is adding a little triangle next to the calendar. I usually do this because I like to write notes there or insert pictures, but you can also leave that area blank. Um, I'm just going to add a rectangle to show you guys. And I personally use the tables again, but you can do lines or um, insert a shape instead. And then next I'm going to add the days of the week at the top. At the very top, I am adding the numbers of each month. You can honestly do whatever you want with the rest of the planner, but I personally add the numbers of each month. And then on the left side, I add um, the month. Once you have your first month done, all you have to do to make the rest of the months is duplicate each slide. Just do this by clicking on the slide and then hitting duplicate. All you have to do afterwards is edit each slide and just add the correct month. And here I'm showing you that you're not just restricted to using like the table. You can add shapes or lines like I'm showing you here and you can adjust them however you want. Moving on to our hyperlinks. So now I'm showing you here how you can group things together. So just press down on any of the elements that you want to group together and simply click on group and then you're able to move it as if it was one element. And then you don't want to do this for the final product, but I'm just showing you how I'm grouping like all of the elements and how they all move together just so that you can see how it works. Okay, so now that we have all of the circles and their numbers grouped together, you want to click on the first circle and then hit link. And you want to link it to the slide that corresponds to that month. So in this case, I'm going to do four because that is um, January and then for the second one I'm doing five because that's February and then just repeat this on all of the numbers. One final thing I'm doing just to make my life easier when I'm using this planner is linking the month in each monthly page to the hyperlink page. Whenever you click the month on the top left, it takes you to where all of the monthly hyperlinks are. Okay, so now our final step is to export our planner. So just click on the circle that's on the top right corner and then hit export. From there, just click on PDF and export again. And you can save it to your files, but I'm going to just 
import it into GoodNotes so that you guys can see. And there you go. Your planner is now in GoodNotes. If you click on any of the hyperlinks, it'll take you right to that month. And if you click on the month, it'll take you right back to the hyperlink page. So those are really all the basics that I use to make my planners. Oh, and then I'm also showing you how I add pictures into my memories page. I really like using this page and looking back on all the photos that I took. So this is the final look of my planner. If you end up making your own templates, definitely post them on Instagram and tag me so that I can see. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Bye guys.